their only asset a bunch of really young players. With no money for transfers or even for good wages, it was up to Bobby Gould to create a side capable of surviving in Division Three. That was always an uphill job. Bottom of the table in September, they never got higher than halfway, but they did at least finish safe. Again and again for Bobby Gould, it was a case of having to throw in raw teenagers in at the deep end of professional football, perhaps before their time. The job was made all the harder by Rovers having to pack their bags and move to Bath City's ground. Their money troubles meant they could no longer afford the rent being asked at Eastville. So the 1986-87 season became all about avoiding relegation. And Bobby's mixture of old heads and young legs did him proud in achieving just that. His accomplishments with a tiny budget and not even a home ground won him a new reputation nationally as a manager. So when First Division Wimbledon found themselves without a chief for the 1987-88 season, they looked west along the M4.